Hello, members of North Carolina 3rd, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden here. Just want to say thank you. What a powerful convocation we just had. Pressures influencing the world. Acts 17 and verse 6, the B clause. These that have turned the world upside down have come here also. Thank you, Bishop Daniels, for helping us. Thank you, Prophetess Janet Floyd, for helping us. Thank you to all of those who did teachings, who did presentations. We had a move of God and I'm still high on it. Listen, listen, I just want to come to you with just a word of encouragement and this is the first of many that we will do from time to time. I just want to speak to the members of the jurisdiction, lay members, pastors, superintendents, supervisors, missionaries, elders, saints, friends, deacons, uh, my administrative staff, my chief of staff, all of the people of God, the first and second, first lady, everyone, listen. Here's the word of the Lord for North Carolina third. And I want to put this to you here and it's going to bless you real good. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter six and verse 13, it says, Wherefore take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, comma. Look at this. And having done all, comma, to stand, period, Stand therefore, comma, having your loins girded with the truth. Now, what is he saying here? He's saying, wherefore, take unto you the whole arm of God that you may be able to withstand the attack, the onslaught of the enemy uh, in the evil day. And an evil day is not a 24 hour day, but it is a time of attack. You know, pastors, you know, superintendents, you know, leaders, when your church, your ministry, your family, your home, you know, when your life is under a, a, a time of attack. That is called an evil day. It happens to all of us. But we put on the whole arm of God that we may be able to withstand, to endure the evil day. And then it says this, and having done all, having done all is literally translated stand firm. Having done all, comma, to stand. To stand is literally translated having done all, comma, to continue. After we have stood firm, Paul is saying, continue to stand firm, having your loins girded about with the truth, putting on the breastplate of righteousness, feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, and above all, taking the shield of faith that you may be able to quench the fiery darts, uh, darts of the wicked and taking the helmet of salvation, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayers and supplications in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and all supplication. Listen, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. All supplications for all the saints. What am I saying to you? As you stand firm and the enemy comes against you, continue to stand firm. Having done all, that is stand firm, comma, to stand. That is having done all and you, you're standing firm, keep standing firm and you stand firm with the whole armor of God on. In this day and time where there's so much, so many challenges to those of us who believe the Bible, those of us who believe in the Lordship of Jesus Christ, those of us who walk in and live in the love of God and experience the grace of the God of the Bible, His forgiving power, His love, His healing, and His delivering power. Here's the key, His delivering power, His ability to change people's lives. When we preach the truth and we preach that God's a deliverer and we challenge people to come out of their sins, Satan comes against us and many times we're called judgmental, we are, we are attacked, we are persecuted, we go through different things. But I want to say to that preacher, to that missionary, to that saint of God, to that person who proclaimed God's word, to that first lady, to that elder, to the members of North Carolina 3rd, whatever you do, stand firm and continue to stand firm. And the God of the Bible will bring great deliverance and big victory your way. Thanks. May God's choice blessings be yours.